Wow. Just look at this. Love that. Listen. It's very scary to be honest. Imagine if you're driving on the autobahn and this thing shows up. Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Here we are right now at the Holman International Showroom presenting you this beautiful and brutal G700 Brabus. This is a conversion made by Brabus and Bottrop. The base model is basically a G63 with a V8 and uh, Brabus has done some extra body kit work. In the interior we have also a few changes and also some extra power which pushes the car from 585 stock horsepower to 700 brake horsepower and 950 newton meter of torque this car can push from 0 to 100 in uh, more than 4 seconds 4.3 seconds and uh, this car i'm not really sure if this is painted or wrapped and i'm also not about sure about the color but it looks so nice i've never seen a g with these colors if there's anyone who knows the name of the exact color of wrap, uh, please comment down below. I'm really curious if there's anyone who can guess it. So in today's video, we will be showing you this beautiful car. Uh, we will show you an exterior walk around. Afterwards, we will jump inside to show the beautiful and refined Brabus interior. And we are going to finish it all off with some sound check plus a resume. So let's just start with a walk around, starting with the front of this brutal g700 just look at this the normal g63 is already like very aggressive but the additional brabus parts on that car look insane let's just start with the front and the headlights these are the non night package uh, mercedes stock headlights then we have the brabus front grille this is basically the panamericana it's a little bit uh, darker and we have the Brabus B emblem where we normally have the star the Brabus badge also on the grill then we have the hood and the bonnet of this brutal car we have the additional part uh, made out of carbon fiber unfortunately these are fake so there is no air intakes as we knew it from the G900 but yeah we can live with that full carbon fiber gloss then we have the Brabus B badge also on the bonnet. Here continuing with the front bumper, as you see, we have several Brabus additional parts, such as the Brabus white body kit, which you can see with this wider part on the, on the sides. Then we have the additional front bumper made by Brabus. This one is also an additional part. Also here you can see the Brabus emblem as well as the intakes very nice how do you guys like this front it's it's very scary to be honest like imagine if you're driving on the autobahn and this thing shows up so let's continue with the walk around and the side of this car wow looks so aggressive especially with uh, the white body kit by bravos so let's just continue with the rims some beautiful uh, Brabus rims. Here we have the Platinum Edition Monoblock Z24 forged wheels. These are 24 inch wheels. The biggest option you can get for uh, the Brabus G-Wagon. Here we have the Brabus emblem also engraved over here. The Brabus brakes. Look how small they look with these huge rims. Amazing. I would rather prefer the monoblock rims I'm going to show you. They look absolutely insane, but these also fit perfectly on that car. Let's continue here with the sides. Here we have the white body parts, as you see, also with the Brabus emblem, with the flaps kind of looking. Unfortunately, also fake vents, but still 
um, it looks very nice. The Brabus badges, like everywhere on the car, by Turbo 700 badge on the side, door steps. Then we have the performance exhaust by Brabus. This one is finished in black, which fits perfectly on the car and all the black parts. The door handles are still the same and the sound also. Then we have the rear wheels, also 24 inch platinum edition. Z monoblock forged wheels, which look very nice. Brakes with the Brabus emblem finished in orange to fit the wrap or the paintwork and the exterior. I forgot to mention one thing and we have these additional lights on top, which look awesome. I'm going to show you how they work and how they look at this car, more brutal look, especially when driving at night. Then we have the spoiler out on top, finished by Brabos, as you see here. Very nice. And now let's continue with the rear of this brutal car. Just look at this. Wow. Here we have the spare tire cover, all finished in carbon fiber with the Brabus badge, really looking nice. Then we have the Brabus emblem over here, finished in black. The 700 badge, as we have the 700 option G-Wagon. As you may know, we also have the 800 option, uh, which has 800 horsepower. This one is the 700 one. Then you can see the number plate, Holman International. They have the biggest showroom and the craziest cars. Honestly, I've never seen so many super and hyper cars in one showroom. Really nice. Go check them out on Instagram and check their cars, guys. Also additional Brabus part on the rear diffuser here. Really looking nice. Just look at how wide it looks with these wheels, especially the white body kit. So that's it basically for the exterior walk around. Let me now show you the key. Unfortunately, it's a normal AMG key with Dio Falterbach emblem on the back. You also have an optional uh, Brabus, like the same key, but with the Brabus badge on the rear. I'm going to show you a picture of that also. Let me now unlock the car. Just listen to that. This is music to my ears. Now let's step inside the G700. Now continuing with the interior, you see it is fully covered still since this car is on for sale. They have been uh, taking care of that beauty. As you also see, we have still the foil on it and uh, they told us, hey guys, you can unwrap it and I'm going to do so right now. The most satisfying thing. Yes, love that. And also on the steering wheel. Wow, beautiful one. And also on these seats, as you see Holman International. Nice, just look at this color option. Never seen it before. Black, orange, and also the white. How do you guys like it? But before we step inside, let me show you the door panels. It's full finished in black leather with the dark gray stitching. Then we have the white leather also with the beautiful diamond stitching, carbon fiber trim, the Bormesser sound speaker cover, and everything you need basically. And also a nice detail here, the Brabus door pins with the Brabus emblem on it. Really cool. As you know, we have this Brabus entrance board, which is illuminated. Um, really love that. Then we have these additional parts also made by Brabus with the Brabus emblem, the gas and brake pedals. And now it's time to step inside. Let's go. So now we are inside the Jeep Brabus with the beautiful door sound. Let me do it again for you. <laughs> Love that, especially on the G wagons. Like this is so essential. Let me just turn this also on. Oh, you see the ambient light. Beautiful, I love this interior. Really, really nice. I wish instead of AMG it would say Brabus right now, but never mind. Let's start with the steering wheel. As you see, we have the Alcantara, also known as Dynamica option. This is a stock Mercedes steering wheel with the gloss carbon fiber. The 12 o'clock trim is finished in orange. And we have the Brabus leather badge, where you normally have the AMG badge. 
the Mercedes-Benz steering wheel buttons and the Brabos special shift pedals here. They look really nice. Now continuing with the interior, you see we have several uh, carbon options and parts which are stock from Mercedes. As you see on the center console on the dash here, really love that. Uh, this was basically a stronger than time for the years edition. It had been conver converted to a G700. Now let me show you the beautiful seats as you see. Uh, full black leather trim with the black stitching and in the inside we have an orange plus white leather trim with the AMG badge plus something very cool I've never seen before orange seat belts look super nice love that and uh, also the whole interior is covered with the Dynamica trim love that the panorama sunroof the rear passenger row, as you see, also the seats are finished with the black, the orange and the white leather trim, which looks absolutely gorgeous, guys, honestly. Now, let me just turn on the ignition. Then we have the steering wheel buttons. These are stock Mercedes steering wheel buttons, you know, from my previous previous videos. Slippery, individual, comfort, sport, sport plus. Uh, driving modes, it's on the left side, you can change all the options. The suspension, also the exhaust system. We have a different one here. Really, really enjoy it. Also sitting inside, it's very comfortable and I can't imagine how cool it would be to drive this car. Just imagine driving 700 horsepower G-Wagon. Would be absolutely crazy. One thing I've just admired right now, which is super cool, okay? Just look at this. As you see here, we have the Brabos logo, which is like literally just for the driver and the people are inside, uh, which is also mounted on the uh, extra hood extension here, which looks super cool. I've, I've never seen that and this is new, made by Brabos. Really love that. Uh, all in all, it's time for us to start the engine and demonstrate you guys the sound. So let's do this first from the interior and afterwards we'll uh, jump outside to do a little bit of revving and some startup sounds. So let's do this now. I'm going to lower the windows. As you see, these are tinted as well, which also gives this car a more additional gangster and mafia feeling, kinda. Now it's time to start up the car, listen. Love that. And now let's jump outside. I'm going to demonstrate you the sound from the exterior. Let's go. So now it's time to demonstrate you the sound of this beast. Starting it up right now for you guys. So that's it basically for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed as much as I did. There is more Brabus content coming soon in a few weeks. So stay tuned to subscribe to that YouTube channel. We will be at Brabus headquarters in Bottrop soon. Comment down below what you want to see. And all in all, really love this beast, uh, especially the color tone. I've never seen that color before just once. And it was the old uh, generation G-Class, which looked beautiful with these rims especially, the conversion, all the body parts. Uh, how do you guys like it? How do you guys like the sound, the new interior? Just comment down below. Can't wait to read all of your comments and wish you all a great day. Huge thanks again at this point to Holman International. I'm going to tag them down below. Just go and check them out for more of that. Wish you all a great day. I'm looking forward to see you again. I will be back.